<laughs> Dr. Seuss hat. Roll it. Here we go. Three, two, one, Tim Burton is the filmmaker. The motion picture is Mars Attacks. It's good to see you again. Nice to see you again. I walked in the room and there were remarks about Canadians and Canadian content. I've well, just left who Marty. Said that? Yeah, yeah. Well, everybody. You guys talk hockey or something? Well, come on. <laughs> I remember when you were working with Denise Deneau. <laughs> oh, yeah. Catherine O'Hara is one I of your pals. I was respond to the peace loving Canadians, yes. <laughs> is that what appeals to you about I don't know. I do know a lot of Canadians. It's, it's true. I do know a lot of them. I, I, I like them all. <laughs> I never met a Canadian I didn't like, but it's not like I'm running for office of some sort. <laughs> no, you sound like Jack Valenti on an off day. <laughs> Tim, is it fair to say in front of you that Mars Attacks represents a lifelong dream for you in the sense of taking all the elements you have always enjoyed about the B-movie genre, but having the money, <laughs> almost $70 million, to have access to the special effects and the geniuses to give you those to make Mars Attacks? Well, I, you know, I feel really lucky about that. And, you know, it's like you, you, uh, you know, in the old days, I like watching cheap science fiction movies, but now, you know, you can, you know, you want to capture that feeling without being as cheap. You know, you want to kind of take it to another level. So try to do the spirit of those and kind of upgrade it to some degree and I feel really good about that you know like you know because when you're a kid watching those you don't feel like they're bad or cheap or anything you know the good ones really kind of blow your mind you know and so here we are in, in this day and age and you kind of just trying to capture that feeling uh, again you know that kind of feeling where you just kind of were surprised by things that way so it was it was fun to make. I really had a great time making it. It shows. Yeah, it was good. I you know, you know, it, I think it was really the first time where I got to do something like that. You know, really uh, having that prime movie going experience back then, and then being able to kind of do it again. You know, do it now. I mean, movies are that way in general, making them, but this is particularly that way, which was nice. Is it true that Warner Brothers gave the approval? for the budget when you were able to say, yes, I have Jack Nicholson, not only as the President of the United States, but as a real estate hustler at Art Land in Las Vegas. Yeah, well, it, it all kind of happened around the same time. I mean, you know, they, they've been good. They, they, we've, I've worked with them before, and they've been great to me, and, and uh, you know, they understand me to some degree, and, uh, you know, I, I, they've, been, they've been willing to let me go out into space <laughs> on many occasions, so to speak. <laughs> and at the same time, Tim, whether we go from Beetlejuice or the Batman movies, you've delivered for them. The box office figures on your Batman movies are still a phenomenon in the industry. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I treat that stuff like I, I feel very close to the movies and uh, I feel very much like uh, I'm... Uh, you know, you never know what's ever going to happen, and I and I just like to make movies that uh, it, uh, I've been lucky that way. You know, I got to kind of do what I wanted from the beginning, to some degree, and um, I feel lucky about it. And I just want to continue <laughs> continue that, and uh, so just keep plugging away. <laughs> but tell me something. After the conversations I've had with you, when one looks at Mars Attacks and sees the special effects and the brilliant set design the creation that this movie is. And you are the same man who gave us Ed Wood. <laughs> I know. This movie is like an expensive Ed Wood movie. <laughs> but I, you know what I was going to say to you? There is no less passion no. in Ed Wood than there is in Mars Attacks oh, or Batman. No, no. Absolutely not. No, I, 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 I have to feel that way. You know, making these projects, uh, it's like I... It's hard for me. I'm not like a proficient. I've never done a commercial. I've never done a video. I've, I've never done something where, because I can't, I'm not proficient enough to, I have to really care about it. Even if it seems like a stupid project, I have to, I, 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 I care about it because uh, it's just you're spending so much time on it. It's part, so much takes over your life that you, you have to feel that way about things. Marty Short was very <laughs> affectionate towards you, and he said, Tim, Tim knew that I oh, had great. done I him. I follow Martin Short. That's, that's not easy. <laughs> hey, easier to follow him than be satirized by him like I am. Oh, God. I, have, I think I've had But Marty myself. did you. I know. In fact, 
I think I may have him do me in, in interviews. He's probably he's better at me than I am. <laughs> you were aware. Did Marty show you the tape of him doing you on one of his television specials? I saw it. Yeah, and I, it, it was scary. He's so good at that. It's almost like fr it's frightening, you know. <laughs> it really is. Who showed it to you, Catherine O'Hara no, and her husband Bo? No, I Beau? think he. I think he said I was somewhere else. I was in. I saw. I was in Europe or something, and so I got this tape, and I felt like I was watching some weird parallel universe European I don't know I was in I was in Europe so I, it just oh, the whole experience uh, he's he's so good at that stuff it's it's truly frightening <laughs> he transcends among, comedy into horror <laughs> among the other extraordinary things in Mars attacks and I will save the thrill of the special effects and the invasion for moviegoers it's also your clever use of Tom Jones <laughs> within the context of the story in Las Vegas, but also when one thinks of your history and your relationship with Vincent Price. Yeah. It is great to see you having Sylvia Sidney in oh, this Oh, I film love again. Sylvia. You know, I worked with her on Beetlejuice, and she's just, I love her, you know, she's the greatest. Um, you know, there's, it's just, I, I love these. I love somebody that's just been, you know, that has uh, had a life, you know, and, and that they're, you know, you learn from them, you know. It's like it's nice to see people that you can learn from and see that they've had a history and that they, that they're here and they're they're. Uh, I don't know. It's just uh, something I've had a few times and I really enjoy it with certain people, and she's, you know, she's great. As you had with Vincent Price. Yeah, yeah. It's really you learn some. You learn something from these people, and they're, they're great. Tim, for whom have you made Mars Attacks? <laughs> Seriously, when the studio well, talks I think me, about it. I mean, I hate to say, I hate to say it. Uh, you first. Turn off that monitor in the other room. You first. Uh, well, yeah, you I think you all ultimately do because uh, if you don't please yourself, then you don't, you know, then you don't have a chance of pleasing anybody else. I mean, and if you please yourself and it doesn't work, at least you have that to <laughs> go to your grave with, I guess. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I rarely think about that. I, I, I never really know. I, I've never, I, I've actually never thought of a movie and thought of like who this is for because I, I would never pretend to know or have that knowledge of knowing because I guess if you could figure all of that out, then everything would be, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's part of the, the joy of movies is that it's, 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 there's something unknown about it, you know. It's like it's something that, that, uh, that is, is there's so many people that are involved with it, it there's so many things that go into it that it's like a, a surreal uh, circus that way. You never know what can happen. <laughs> And fortunately, with you, we look forward to that. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm good. Keep, keep trying. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Good to see you, yeah. Tim Burton, <laughs> Mars Attacks. <laughs> Exclamation <Thank you>. point. <laughs> Thank you. I was paying attention. <laughs> Thank you very good much. Good to see you again. Okay.